Okay, um, for the reason that uh, we're here tonight, and uh, here to uh, two fascinating, fascinating talks. Um, the first will be uh, delivered by Edward Bayeski, who is the second of three children of Ava and Evelyn Bayeski. She grew up in Don Mills, where she still lives. Employed at the library of George Brown College, she is also an accomplished musician on the classical guitar, I hear. Edda has written a number of articles about her father's art, and tonight will, will reveal to us the role of Kensington Market played in the development of this remarkable vision. Edda? I'd like to. Can everybody hear me? I'd like to thank the Kensington Market Historical Society for inviting me to speak this evening. I will be speaking about my father, Abba Bayevsky, and his lifelong interest in capturing the life of Kensington Market in his drawings and paintings, beginning in the 1930s when Kensington was a largely Jewish community up through to the year 2001. In that year, Abba was reworking his final canvas, an oil painting of a front door in Kensington. This painting was left on his easel in his King Street studio, and this is how we have kept it. I will be using information from authors Ben Lappin, Paul Duval, Tom Smart, and Jean Cochran, and quoting from Abba's journal, which he kept over many years. You will be seeing reproductions of his work spanning 50 years, oil paintings, watercolors, pencil drawings, pen and ink. From around the year 1900, Jewish immigrants arriving in Toronto from Eastern Europe and Russia were settling in the ward, the area that is now across University Avenue from Queen Street North to College Street. By 1913, a major wave of Jewish immigration, made up of mostly Orthodox Jews who were fleeing persecution, was in full swing. Word spread among them that there was affordable housing outside the ward in Kensington Place. This was the land now divided up and for sale, originally owned by the Denison family from Europe. People began to move. Baldwin Street is where the Jewish market had begun in 1911. built up around synagogues, Jewish schools, stores. The community was called Kensington, 
without the market and the letter Z replacing the letter S. The new community became a popular place to buy and sell and a place to meet and exchange political views. This is a photograph of the Kiever Synagogue at the corner of Bellevue and Denison Streets. It was built in 1927 for a congregation of Orthodox Jews who were fleeing oppression from a province in Ukraine called Kiever Gubernia. This is out as watercolor of the Kiever Synagogue done in April 1959. It is in the collection of the Toronto Public Library. This is an uh, Anshe Minsk synagogue built in 1930. Anshe Minsk means the people of Minsk. It is at the corner of St. Andrew and Kensington, Kensington Streets. Now here, when you walk into the Anshe Minsk synagogue, there are two plaques on the walls showing the names of the founders in Hebrew. Abba's wife, Evelyn, who's here this evening, had grandparents, Bosa and David Yankovitz, whose names are on these plaques. Pointing, we're pointing to them. One side lists the women's names, the other the men's. When we were taking this photograph and the people there found out that my mother's grandparents were founders of the synagogue, they crowded around and stared at her. They were very impressed. <laughs> Here is Abba, sketching in Kensington Market. In his journal, he wrote, my pleasure is real when I wander through the market sketchbook in hand, picking up details of the storefront, a door, a sign on a store window, a lamp post, or a street sign, the arrangement of fruit and vegetables, and above all, how people relate to all these atmospherics. The underlying quality that is the marketplace is the human interaction that permeates every corner and nook on every street. The area vibrates with this inter interaction between people. Author Tom Smart writes, by describing what he saw and felt, Bayevsky created a personal and deeply human artistic testament in a visual language that can be widely read and understood. When Abba was first introduced to the market, he would have seen a place where the hawkers or vendors would be shouting out to shoppers, advertising what they were selling, and there was a lot of bargaining happening before things were bought. bought, bought. One of the phrases being shouted out was, Bargains, 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 coif bargains, which is Yiddish, Yiddish for buy bargains. Haggling in stores and on streets, mingled with the odors of fruits and vegetables ripening in the sun, fresh bread and bagels from the bakeries, creameries with varieties of cheeses, smoked fish, and pickled gherkins in barrels. Barrels of pickles and herring, 
and the smell of freshly baked bread. Now we see goats and lamb, octopus and squid, Jamaican foods, oriental vegetables, and salt fish. And I select details of the storefront, a lamppost, or street sign, the arrangements of fruits and vegetables, but above all, the people. And he writes, the appearance of chaos in Kensington is an illusion. Thank you very much, Andrew. That was wonderful. 